Putnam teachers and school officials say they are willing to work through the weekend to work on a new deal after teachers went on strike on Friday, causing classes to be canceled. CBSN Boston's Jim Smith is in Dedham tonight with the latest. Well, Katie, as far as we can tell, those talks are continuing even as we speak. Meanwhile, the union is holding firm. We're not opening these schools until we bring you a fair contract. A show of strength and unity from striking Dedham public school teachers. Hundreds of union members dressed in red, marching and holding signs at a Saturday rally. The event coming just a day after they walked off the job. We had no choice. It was the last thing we wanted to do. We were, really, we were at the end of our rope. They wouldn't negotiate fairly with us. Uh, we hadn't met since August 1st. We were, we we're just at the end of the rope. We need a contract. We need to negotiate one. But they've been unwilling to do so. But now there's a new push for a settlement. Union members and school administrators began a bargaining session at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The administration says it wants a deal done and is willing to stay at the table until that happens. That brings cautious optimism from the union. It's a nice step that we've got a negotiation meeting um, set, the first one, scheduled one since August 1st. Um, so we'll meet as a team, we'll, we'll talk about it, and, but we're glad that the opening is there. Some of the issues here are what you might expect, salary and health benefits, but the union also wants new measures on student cell phone use and a policy protecting educators from sexual harassment. We spend a lot of time teaching our kids to stand up for themselves and to stand up for what they think is right. And our members decided that this is the time that they are going to stand up for what's right for them. Both sides seem to be in agreement that they did not want this strike to happen, but it did. We'll see if there's a settlement anytime soon. In Dedham, Jim Smith, CBSN, Boston.